Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on my indoor composting. Um, I have this great little composting bucket which I keep inside to put my compostables in. Um, it's got a built-in filter so it uh, doesn't let off too much smell. I just keep it under the sink, my garbage cans under there anyway and uh, I just don't let it sit there for too long before bringing it out to my compost bin. But uh, it's kind of gross in there. But um, I like to compost coffee grounds, tea bags, uh, kitchen scraps. There's some paper towel in there. And uh, with the coffee grounds, I just uh, compost the filters as well. Um, I buy unbleached filters. I don't know if that's a really big deal, but uh, anyway, I figure it's maybe a little bit kinder on the environment anyway. So once my bucket is getting full, or if it's kind of starting to smell, which it normally doesn't, um, this filter does a great job. I used to just use a coffee can and uh, with a nice sealed lid, and that worked too. But uh, this is just a little bit nicer. Uh, my mom got it for me as a present because she knows that's the kind of stuff I'm into. And here's my cough, or here's my um, composting bins. So I've got two totes stacked on each other. Um, I have this cardboard lid, which doesn't seal it up too much. And I also have a bunch of holes drilled along the back here to let air into the tote. Now, I do try to turn this often, um, but it is hard in these bins. But uh, I do know that I'm getting anaerobic bacteria building up in there too, especially in this bottom tote. Um, but I don't find the smell too bad. Um, I can open my garage door up, the smell goes away, and uh, for me, I rather put up a little bit of smell and make my own compost and uh, not have that stuff go to waste than to just throw it all in the garbage. Um, Ideally, I would like to have this outside, um, but I live in a townhouse, I don't have uh, a yard, I have common space outside, which I share with my neighbors, and they probably would not appreciate a, uh, a big compost bin or pile just uh, sitting next door to their, their deck. So I make do with what I got, and um, I do have a nice much bigger compost pile out of my parents place out at their acreage and uh, this is where this compost ends up because it doesn't fully finish breaking down here I just kinda keep it just collect my compo compost compostables um, here and then when these totes are full I just uh, throw them in the back of my dad's truck when he's over and uh, or you know, and I'm going out there, if you can pick me up, we grab these compost bins and we just dump them out in the compost pile out there to let them finish breaking down. And uh, that process of dumping them out and digging it into the compost pile out there, that kills off the anaerobic bacteria and uh, lets the aerobic bacteria continue. Um, but even with a closed, a fairly closed system like this, you still, stuff will break down. Uh, it's slow, and like I said, it does produce some smell, but uh, it does break down. So on the top here, this is stuff I freshly added. It looks pretty gross, because it is. There's all kinds of mold and fungus going on, but I've got you know coffee and uh, leaves and cuttings and old plants and basically anything any kind of any kind of waste from the kitchen or garden ends up in here except anything you know like you don't want to be composting like meat that would really stink it's not healthy um, things with eggs and dairy products that kind of stuff it's just stay away from that uh, I'd say most of what I compost is just coffee grounds and coffee filters and leaves and old plants um, and I find that stuff doesn't uh, it doesn't produce a really bad smell 
So I'll just lift off the top tote and I'll show you what the compost in the bottom tote looks like because um, it kind of works its way down and as it gets to the bottom that's where the more finished compost is. Okay so this is the bottom tote and uh, the top tote I cut the bottom out of the tote so that uh, any liquid or um, stuff breaking down does work its way down into this bottom tote. Um, and I do have this nice trowel which is on a extendable kind of pole which is good for turning this over without having to get right in there with a tiny little trowel and you can see this stuff is quite broken down there's still big chunks of you know stems and you know it's not totally finished but it's getting there it's looking more and more like it should and uh, you know I try to turn this stuff to um, get air into it I try to do it you know as often as I can because that does cut down on the smell and it also helps it break down quicker but uh, yeah this is kind of the stuff this is sort of how it ends up after a while um, so yeah really what I'm trying to say in this video is if you are motivated enough um, composting is extremely easy and it's a great source of good uh, fertilizer for your garden and it's good for the environment rather than filling up landfills with uh, stuff that can you know break down and, and provide you with good uh, fertilizer just try composting it um, you don't need to go out and buy expensive compost bins um, those work great <clears throat> and nor do you have to make some you know really fancy kind of composting I don't know uh, bin sort of thing outside I mean I just use a couple Rubbermaid totes and stuff breaks down in here um, it's not perfect but uh, like I said I'd rather do what I'm doing now than to throw this stuff out so uh, yeah that's basically how I compost and I would really encourage people to um, give composting a shot. Uh, 